Hey everyone, Chris Janet here for Card Player TV back to give you another look inside a poker player's house for another edition of High Stakes Living. Today we're at the home of Justin Smith. The 21 year old phenom is also known as Boosted J Online, where he plays the highest stake to cash games. Let's go check out his Las Vegas house. Hey Justin. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. Thank you so much for inviting us into your house. No problem. So, how long have you had the house? Um, we just moved in here uh, the first week of April. Alright, so where should we start? Um, we can go upstairs and check out the bedrooms. This is the master bedroom. Just, uh, it may be funny because we have two beds. No, my wife and I do not sleep in different <laughs> beds. My, uh, my dog kind of likes her own bed, so we let her sleep on that one. Wow, must be a big dog then, right? Yeah, she's, she's big, but she likes the bed better than the floor. So she always tries to jump on our beds. <laughs> Bathroom, shower, this is our closet. I'm kind of big on clothes mm -hmm. and my wife likes clothes too. I actually have a lot of shoes too. This is the first time I've ever seen a closet that has more guy clothes than girl clothes. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my wife always makes fun of me for that, so. So this is a spare bedroom? Yep, one of the two upstairs. Do you have friends that you're alive? Um, yeah, actually I just had uh, two friends from about 10 years ago. They stayed with me for a week and we had a lot of fun. We did all the regular Vegas stuff, so. Like clubbing and everything? Yeah, we went clubbing, strip clubbing, <laughs> doom bugging, all sorts of things. Do you have any poker player horses that you take care of and have stay here? We've heard that a lot from other poker players. Well, yeah, I have a friend coming tonight and I'll probably put him in a few different events. Some of the smaller 1500 new limits. Um, he's actually the one who taught me how to play poker, so. Oh, so now you kind of surpassed the mentor. A little bit, but he's still pretty good. This is my pool table. Whenever I'm not playing poker online or playing live, I'm always shooting pool. It's a good stress reliever. Really you know, I'll play with myself or whoever. It's really fun. So I, I like it kind of as an extra hobby. Do you ever bet on it? No, I haven't really bet much on pool, but uh, I could definitely see myself handicapping some matches. <laughs> well, I've been reading your Twitter, and you talk a lot about betting. Do you have some World Series of Poker bets? Yeah, I have a few different ones. Um, I have some team bets with myself, Brett Ritchie, and Justin Bonomo uh, against any other three players who have never won a bracelet before. Mm -hmm. uh, Ted Forrest, who's a friend of mine, uh, we bet each other 5K bonus per final table, 5K bonus per top three. Wow. Which I have to sweat him right now because he's like second in chips in the 40K. Mm -hmm. And. Mattis Howe convinced me last night to partner up and take on Dan Onergranos and Eric Lindgren's challenge, so we bet them 20,000 on Player of the Year points. And, uh... Now, I also saw that you were backing him in Chinese, and what I know about Chinese is that some skills involve you play the right cards, but a lot of it's luck, so what's... Did you just want in on some of that action, or...? Yeah, well, it's dinner break, and, you know, in, in the break room, they're always playing Chinese, and I don't really know how to play Chinese that well. So, you know, I take like 40% of his action just for a little sweat during dinner break, and I also kind of sweat him. And also, Barry Greenstein runs like dirt at Chinese. So <laughs> he's drawing dead. Right. So, do you work out right here? Yeah, actually, I just, I just worked out about an hour ago, and, you know, I love the bow flex. There's a, the club for bow flex, I should be getting paid for that. But it's very awesome that you, you, you have all kinds of different uh, workouts you can do on it. So mm -hmm. I work out usually like three or four times a week. Yeah, I would like show you, but I don't want to show them up and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> this is the kitchen. I don't cook at all, but my wife cooks. And uh, when my dad visits periodically from Florida, he cooks too. He's like the best cook in the world. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that's another normal thing that poker players say, they don't cook at all. Yeah. And I, they don't eat at the dining room table. I, nope, don't eat. I, <laughs> eat. I eat on my recliner, which is my online poker station. So I have like all 
natural, like, uh, you know, free range chicken and, you know, egg whites. I eat, really healthy. I eat extremely healthy. I'm no, no soda, just like all I drink is like water pretty much and mm -hmm. you know, some like cranberry juice, but yeah. This is my home base. This is where I play all my online poker and usually, you know, I'm watching maybe some TV, some, some of the NBA playoff games lately. I've been pretty uh, interesting to watch, very close to other games. You're ready for Orlando, right? Well, I'm guessing for a Florida guy. Yeah, I was a big Orlando fan, but then uh, basically I got core because I was a big trader and bet on Cleveland for the first three games. <laughs> so I deserved it, whatever. <laughs> you can play all your screens on, on that computer? Do yeah. You, do you not multi table a lot? Oh, no, I'm a, I'm a pretty sick multi table. Uh, you know, I'll play like six or seven 25 50 pillows at a time and then i'll play like something like the 400 800 mix on stars everybody always asks me about how do you multi-table on laptops i don't know i have overlap like it's not a big deal mm -hmm. i just Let's go from it. screen to screen and i don't usually have many misclicks so it works out not many what's your worst one? Oh well my worst one for sure is we were playing 5100 euro on primo poker and the pot was about $140 in this well-known crazy aggro guy named Limpa Durr. No, not Durr, just Limpa D-I-R-R. Okay. It was a $160 or 160 euro pot, and I check called in an unraised pot with fifth pair on a four flush, four straight board with a pair of fours. He overbet uh, 20,000 euros into a 160 euro pot, and by accidentally I clicked call and I won the pot. Oh so my god! It was like a 40,000 euro Was pot. he like, this is rigged, or can you see my cards or something? He, like he went on the amazing animal tilt I've ever seen, <laughs> and I probably won about seven or 80,000 euros. It was like the and best misclick ever. It was the best, I showed many, many people that misclick. <laughs> it was great. Awesome. Wow. This is the backyard. Where sometimes I sit out here and relax. It's nice, even at nighttime in Vegas not too cool. If it is cool, there's a fire pit over there. This also goes up, I didn't show you upstairs, the patio, but there's a balcony upstairs and that goes to it. Was this all here when you moved in or did you do did yeah. you some of this yourself? Yeah, this uh, this was all here when I moved in and uh, you know, this is one of the main reasons why we moved here was because it's such an awesome pool. My, my wife loves swimming, so I swim every now and again, but I usually don't have time, so. Okay. So you said your wife likes to swim? Yeah, she likes to swim. And, uh, Who is this? We, we walk our dog. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And who is this? Boosty. Boosty. Oh. A German Shepherd? Yep. She's, she's my little girl. She's the protector of the house, the watchdog, mm -hmm. the human killer. <laughs> uh, down here we have. All the Fuji area um, and the fire pits right here for when it gets cold in the winter time. And uh, we've used it a few times. It's nice. Uh, I've actually uh, jumped in to the hole and into the pool. And when some of my friends are staying here, they've jumped in the balcony and like dived in. And that can't be safe. Yeah, I, I haven't done it, but it's also kind of cool because you can like jump off the rocks and feel like you're jumping from a cliff. Which oh, yeah. can be fun sometimes after bad beats. <laughs> well, thank you so much for letting me into your home. It was great to meet you. Nice meeting you. Good to see you again. We'll see you in a few weeks. Yep. All right. Have a good day. And that was the home of Justin Smith. I hope you enjoyed this edition of High Stakes Living. I'm Chris Turnett for Card Player TV.